This is KMAX Technology Tuesday, sponsored by Blue Layer Innovative Technology Solutions. A lot of folks saw the Super Bowl ad with one of those funny little boxes oh. bouncing around the screen and wonder what that was all about. Those boxes are called QR codes. You scan them with your phone camera and they send them to you to an internet link. Easy way to get information or maybe a discount, but security experts say think twice before scanning one with your smart device. And our Jesse Jones explains why. QR codes are those black and white boxes you shoot, your phone interprets, and then everything from menus to deals pops right up on your device via the internet. Companies share them on social media and on signs and flyers. But they're everywhere. Yeah, and they're a cool technology, and that means they're subject to abuse, like all the cool technologies, right? <laughs> Tim Helming, a computer security expert from the company Domain Tools, says scammers are now in the game turning those codes into your misery. It could be that they are making a fraudulent payment. It could be that they are uh, downloading malware onto your phone. The other issue at play is that a person can check a web address to see if it's legit. A QR code doesn't give consumers that chance. You have fewer ways to validate uh, what it is that you're about to, to get to than you do if it's an actual link. The Better Business Bureau scam tracker shows one person lost $65,000 in a con that used QR codes. And they're easy to get. I found a number of sites that offer QR codes for free. Just enter the website you want the code to send people to and you're good to go. So Tim says consumers need to consider the source before pointing and clicking. If I saw a QR code that was slapped up on a telephone pole or a side of a building or something like that, I don't care how tempting the offer sounds, I am running away from that thing. Scammers often send QR codes and emails that appear to be from legitimate companies. So experts say, don't use it unless you can verify the source. There are scanner apps available that include extra security which can help make sure the code you are seeing is the real deal. 